Alia and Saud Basman, a YouTubing couple who shares tips online. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Here finally. Yes. <laughs> now on social media, I've noticed that the two of you have become very big advocates of financial literacy. And at some point, as we, I was talking to you earlier, the one thing that made me, it was really amusing and, and fulfilling for me to see that you were telling of people, you were saying, <laughs> guys, stop <laughs> buying things you really can't afford. Yeah, that's, right? that's, that's, love. Love. <laughs> that's what I love. That's what I love. The tone of voice. And Filipinos really need that, don't you? Yes, think? yes. Because, because I'm a mother. And that's how I talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and really, Filipinos need that. Na you have to tell them that there are things you don't really need. And you don't have to show people that you, you, you need those things. You have to buy those things if you really don't need them. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if it's what I can do to knock other people's head, to make them wake up, that... Guys, no, you don't have to do those things. Then what's that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and you're very supportive. Like, it's like one voice. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah. Before, when we start, when we got married, we talked about this. We talked mm -hmm. about being frugal. Mm -hmm. We talked about studying how to manage our finances uh, from the get go. Mm -hmm. So that when we have a family years from now or years from then, uh, we will be more uh, wiser financially. <laughs> And this was where I met you in 2015. I didn't know that you were that couple <laughs> who asked for a photo and you attended a financial literacy seminar. At the time, I think you said you were still trying to get on track yes. as to, I don't know what challenge you were facing at the time when it came to saving and investing for the future, but now you are. Can you tell us about where you are now in yeah, your journey? How did you overcome those initial difficulties? Well, we started when we got married eight years ago. That time, we, we were very optimistic. Now, we thought we're just married. It will be rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> 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 yes, and then reality came in. Now, we're a couple who have different sets of values, especially in terms of finances. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the difference in the values. How different were you when you began? <laughs> uh, <laughs> before, <laughs> before when you were, I know, when we were still single, we can uh, we travel or we just spend what we want and or we were like, about John. saving a lot, no? And Wait, who's a more frugal? Who's a more frugal? Who's a more frugal? Who's a more frugal? more frugal? He can live <laughs> off <laughs> yung talagang the basics lang. Okay. Ako, I, I want to live comfortably. Okay. And that's what we worked on. We had to compromise. Mm -hmm. Dun sa mga situation na ganun. We had to marry those principles. Mm -hmm. And we were arguing all of the time. Parang talagang uh, the first few months, yeah. even years of our marriage we were always arguing and then one day we just sat down we said enough of this we have to sit down we have to talk about our finances because if it's just the two of them wala sanang away pero yeah. when it talks when we talk about finances talagang wala. i love this of the inside <laughs> no what was the most difficult argument you had what was it like what were you talking about trying to uh we're trying to live off uh beyond our means mm -hmm. like uh, by, uh back then, and back then we were just uh <laughs> we just get married we were both government employees okay. yeah. uh, and but we wanted to travel no, personally i wanted buy? to travel oh you wanted to travel, travel. Went, yeah. okay, so first travel month of our marriage we went to two countries again. <laughs> okay <laughs> i mean no savings and all but yeah. we traveled just uh -huh. to Experience it. Just to experience and to have a photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 So what made you decide to like to cut down? What what is the moment where you said, okay, this enough. is enough. We have to curtail our expenses. What was the breakthrough for you? The emergency, ba? Uh, no, I got pregnant. Oh, yeah, okay. so preparation for the years. children, actually. Mm -hmm. And preparing for the children, you know, and it's not just the two of us. It's gonna be <laughs> through the salary and you the know what, children. Paycheck solves a lot of the world's yes. problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so having the baby was sort of a reality check for you yes. guys because you know that you're gonna spend for a childbirth, mm -hmm. you're yes. going to spend for education, etc. Yes. So how did you plan for it? Uh, we know that it needs preparation and Thankfully, it's nine nine months of pregnancy, so we have nine months, right? So that's what we did. We said that we need to have this amount 
by the time that we gave and back we gave then uh, we prepare for uh, cesarean section just in case you just know, in case that, no? I mean prepare for the worst <laughs> yes prepare for the worst and every month we allotted a certain amount so that at, after nine months we're prepared for CS if ever and that's how we started uh, how do we save uh, what part of our uh, salary will be allocated for that yes. because eventually uh, we both decided to have a one salary in the family, mm -hmm. meaning uh, stay at yeah. home. Yes, stay at yes, home. we need to do that decision. Yeah. To be able to do that, we have to be wiser on how to use our, our uh, money and how to save for the future mm -hmm. and how to make sure that we will not be in debt uh, when the time comes. Yeah. Uh, before we go to uh, the the uniqueness of this situation is you're Muslims, right? And there are certain difficulties or differences in terms of how you save and invest for the future. I'd just like to go back to that conversation where there was conflict. Whenever, for instance, I can imagine when you tell her to stop buying things. <laughs> and initially, it won't be easy for you to accept it. Yes. How do you calm another person who's maybe... Before, uh, we, just, we just usually, uh, usually in retrospect, like it's already bought. Mm -hmm. And then after one, right. I mean, what now? I mean, we have this, now. we have already purchased this, uh -huh. but this is our savings now because of that. So uh -huh. we always uh, try to look at it that way uh -huh. so that we will learn from our yeah. Yeah, mistakes. Yeah. At least you're, you're more proactive. And speaking of proactive, what kind of roles do you have in terms of the decision making, in terms of who buys what, who plans, who buys the goods? Who will, tell, tell us about that. In our family, it's always a mutual de mutual decision of us two. Pero when it comes to planning, siya yung mas magaling in terms of details, yung mga ganyan. Ano, ako na lang yung parang, ano, do you think this is okay? He asks me that. So yun yung nagiging role ko lang doon. Tapos I, I just fine-tune it. Kapag may kailangan sa tingin ko, parang ito, um, we need to add more to this. We need to be this... We need to think of this as well. You mga ganon. It's yeah. always a mutual decision. And we've always been clear about that. That we have to be honest with each other. Because we see couples, they always fight. Because there's a sort of always. Yeah. Yes. To be able to be informed, I mean, to be able to do this uh, uh, in our family, that I will be the one to plan. I have to really study and look yes. for resources, yeah. Yeah. online resources, YouTube videos, Dave Ramsey. Uh -huh. Those are the, no, and of course, on the money. And it, it educated me so that I can guide her, I can talk to her about the principles that we can apply to our family yes. with regards to money. And we always have to be transparent. And what comes in, every, every penny should be known by the wife and uh, what goes out. She should know it and she should approve it. Although I will be the one to plan it. So no hidden accounts. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> on a lighter and more fun note, how do you determine when you've saved enough how to spend that money? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The ones you've recorded to, for leisure. Yes, yeah, yeah. because I realized your plan has worked. Recently, yeah. you've traveled this year twice, I think, and, yes. and you yes. remodeled your house, right? That's right. Yeah. 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 I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. In our family uh, situation, we have an uh, allocated fund for allowance. Mm -hmm. Every month, we have an allowance. So for each of us. For each of us. Discretionary spending, basically. Yes. yes. So Ilang percent yeah. There's a specific amount that we allocate okay. first hand, okay. first day of the month. Uh -huh. well, this, this will be, I mean, we're basing it on the average uh, yes. uh, money that comes in. Mm -hmm. So with this average, I can allocate this. And if we, search, we reach a certain amount, I can give you a bonus. So yeah. we both have bonuses bonus. for that. So in our not fixed income, uh, we can uh, we can plan for that. Uh, okay. First, uh, this certain amount, you can buy whatever you want. Yeah. I can buy whatever I want, and it will not be uh, in the. It will not affect uh, our finances well, because it's a threshold. Which is yes, right. of course. There's a there's a threshold. Uh, my advice is to always uh, look into the past. So that you can learn from your financial, I mean, from your expenses. Mm -hmm. So if you know already how much you need, and you have an average of what you earn, mm -hmm. you can already uh, have an allowance, no matter how small, because we adjust it based on what, I mean, the previous month, we already earned this month or this less. We will adjust our allowance so that it will still accommodate it, I mean, our expenses, and at the same time provide for our 
Discretion lang yun. Alam mo, sa wad, kinikilig ako. Kasi I've yet to see a doctor who is so in tune financially. <laughs> diba? So, do you use Excel or do you use an app? Uh, I have an app. Uh, I have a checkbook app. It, mm-hmm. it's, it has a record for the past four years. Okay. And uh, I recommend it because it, it, uh, it will list the expenses every month and it will list uh, how many how many pesos have you spent with travel with yeah. with 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 your phone yeah. or with your bank? So it's a it's a learning experience. What's the name of this Just app? Check check, check app. Okay. App. But you know, even maybe I can imagine that in your office, your secretary knows where all the records okay. are. <laughs> if you're not OC, a lot of doctors don't even know what they make in a day before. That's before, what we, that's our before we didn't yes. know. And then when when we had that app four years ago, because he, he had to before uh, I was the one who was handling the app. Mm-hmm. But then we realized that he's the one who's always outside. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always spending for talk. <laughs> and he's always in the back. <laughs> so it, it doesn't make sense for him to go yes. home and then tell me, oh, I spent for this, for this, for this. Right. Why don't you just tell me? Well, you know, the, the value of that app is the information that you gained over the time. Right. What kind of patterns were you seeing and how would you like to change that? <laughs> Well, we now we know <laughs> what's the month where, yeah. where Philippines are stingy. Okay. Where they so what month is that? Um, January. Oh, because it's, it's like October December. December. Yes. And June. Because, because of the tuition. Yeah. So they don't usually go to the So we know the pattern. Uh, okay, we know the doctor. Yeah. 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 Unless it's an emergency. So we know. Or some coaches go smart, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. But the good thing is, our our setup. Uh, is built for those uh, those times as well. So mm-hmm. it's in actually a proportion, which I also advise. Uh, you put it in a proportion that just a certain amount that doesn't change. Right. So mm-hmm. so that you will be ready for this for the times that uh, are trying trying months. No. So uh, in our household, I uh, just want to share. Our uh, aside from our allowances, we also allot for the expenses mm-hmm. and the uh, travel fund. Mm-hmm. We have a separate account for this, and I'm always at the back. Different banks. Yes. So that it will be assigned to this one. Uh, this one yeah. for the for fund, yeah, this yeah, yeah. one for the travel fund, and this one will be for the kids. Now, Muslims are not allowed to earn from internet. Yeah. Um, and there are other limitations in terms of investing. So, so how do you grow your money as Muslims? We, uh, we already studied about it, although I'm not an expert on this. Uh, but as far as uh, we um, studied, uh, no, the main principle is uh, no interest uh, mm-hmm. and the principle of being fair to both parties. So banks totally, uh, investing in banks is mm-hmm. out of the question. Mm-hmm. And investing in firms which uh, involves with I don't know gambling, mm-hmm. alcohol, mm-hmm. and those are the type of uh, companies that we avoid. Mm-hmm. So if we can, I know in our uh, in our situation in Islam, you can choose where you put your money, yes. and you will be responsible for it. Okay. So uh, with that in mind, we choose where we put it. Like in this, uh, in our situation, we we invest in the stocks, mm-hmm. and we choose our stocks. Which are, which are halal certified or those are not involved with mm-hmm. what I said, and uh, that that way we can put it in an investment that does that does grow in time. So okay. we are actually tra- not traders but investors. Investors are the long term and be sure you apply right. it also. Yes, yes. yes. So there should be a halal actually yeah. board for no? and, and, right? and, and training yes. and fund managers. Yeah, also for because that. the the Muslim money is sleeping. That's right. right. <laughs> 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 Um, if you look at what happened, uh, the Marawi siege, mm-hmm. they were talking about cash. In, cash. Mm-hmm. They they saw cash yeah. in the house, and they were saying it's about terrorists. No, actually, because Muslims, most of us don't believe in banks. Mm-hmm. So whatever we earn, we it it sleeps in the house. Unless you want to use it for business. No? Yeah. yeah. I think the global level also, when you look at the global funds like sovereign wealth funds coming from. OPEC countries, which have Sharia compliance as well, that's a good. That's a good place to look. But on the local side, beyond the investments, there's also the idea of protection, right? And yeah. I know there's also a stricture against investing uh, and having insurance because yeah. that, that hedges against conditions that may or may not happen. Mm-hmm. How do you protect yourself in that case? Without, without insurance. insurance. Yeah. Without insurance, you have to make sure that you're diversified so that money will come from uh, a lot of sources. different sources and. To be able to protect yourself, you have to plant that seed, mm-hmm. and and we do that by putting it in a business. Uh, we put it in uh, different uh, stocks, companies, 
So we also uh, grow it with an uh, an meat shop. So that, those are the okay. those are the yes. things that yeah. revenue versus interest, right? That's oh, right. Oh, oh. I think more of because when you put it in insurance, insurance they invest in banks. Yes, in those yes. vehicles. Sure. Yes. So we try to avoid okay. it as much as possible. So. Sometimes it gets confusing for people because we're ad we're advocating financial literacy, but then we're not covered by insurance, and as you can see, we're not own we we don't own our house because that's another thing. That's another thing. We we can't loan. Yeah, and you can't own because you can't loan from the bank. We can't own. So but we can't loan if you wanna have your own home, you have to pay for it in cash. Yes, yes. And we either that same, or we rent to own. Uh, we, we rent, but the amount that we need for the uh, house that we want, we yeah. save for it. So about we, four savings along in yeah. 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 So what we do is that if this is the amount that we rent, we counter it and we save the same amount or more of that. For your house for, fund. Yes, and for the future. So we put it in stocks. Mm -hmm. So in the long run, maybe we can afford our own yes. house. And there are also houses which uh, which uh, offer you rent to own. Okay, mm -hmm. it has yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, There are a lot of options. You just have to study and really investigate this. And uh, we're all we're all we're, we're still in the process of investigating other sources of uh, halal. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Insurance. Insurance. Yes. Yeah. Well, I believe this is a great opportunity and strategy even for those who are not Muslims. Right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's just being true to your beliefs but also being very successful. And yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your yeah. experience and okay. wisdom with us. Before I let you go, can you give us a flavor of that tough love again? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Let's hear it. from you. If you can't afford something, please don't buy it and just live below your means. Don't live within your means, live below your means. Financial plans are interesting things. They should be considered as living, breathing organisms rather than just things. No single plan is good for any two individuals, and a plan must adapt and change based on important and critical life events. So the other day over lunch with the Dean of Ender Oncologist, Dr. Edgardo Rodriguez, some members of the faculty and the principal of the high school department, and we talked about artificial intelligence oh, doing the work.